Hey gang, do you want to know how to use this Homax wall texture, uh, spray texture, and get professional results? Stick with me, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to get good results from this. Uh, this is the wall texture, this is the knockdown. It's about 57, 58 degrees. Uh, and the first thing you want to do is warm your can up. I think the instructions say put it in the hot water, but I put it over a register. Uh, just don't leave it there forever because it will heat up pretty quick. Whenever I see reviews or people say, ah, stuff doesn't work, comes out in globs. Nine times out of 10, they're using a cold can. And this stuff, if you warm the can up, it works beautifully. So I'm gonna give this a few minutes. Stick with me. A couple of tips I'm gonna show you. We're gonna texture that repair. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the uh, sheetrock repair video. I'll post it up here someplace, someplace. Uh, I'll post the link to it up there. Anyway, we're going to texture that repair today and um, then I will be painting over it so you'll get to see the finished results. So anyway, uh, let me let this warm up. I'll get right back to you. Okay, we warmed it up over the register. This is the area. Put some old trim out of the way there. And first thing you're going to do is remove there's a little doohickey right there. See if I can do it with one hand. There it goes. Okay. Now, let me switch hands. Oh, I don't know what that is. I'll probably take it. Okay, this is how you're going to adjust your texture. It's best if you hit a, a um, sorry. It's best if you try it on a scrap piece of you know, um, sheetrock or something like this. So you got to really shake it up. That's another trick. It says shake it hard for a minute. Go two or three minutes. Get a kid or something, you know. Um, but we're going to yeah, that's a little and still a little I'm trying to get a little thicker. There we go. Keep shaking it during use. Sorry about the super duper close ups, but there we go. Okay. So I'm standing back. I'm going to start about two foot. I'm going to go circular motions. I'm going to Now, this is just like spraying regular texture. In that, if you mess up, you can get your scraper and scrape it off. That's beautiful. That's some good looking stuff right there. I wonder if I can get it a little thicker. Okay, that's all the way. It should be really good chunk. You can see that's leaving a good texture. And it doesn't hurt to vary your your uh, spray. Because texture is all different. Now I'll go in close, I'll come back, go around the edges, and there you go. We're gonna let this set. You can see that's thicker blobs. I told you I was going thicker earlier. I was going thinner earlier. Um, so that's thicker. We're going to let this set for about three to five minutes. I'll come back and I'll be testing. And when it's right, I'll show you me knocking it down. Okay. Take a 14 inch knife. It's what I use. It's wet. Just the weight of the knife itself. And that's it. Don't get crazy with it. Just the weight of the knife. 
And that's it. I'll come bring you back when we get it painted so you can see what it looks like in the end. Okay, here we are. Got back. If you look real close, you can see the outline where this was. Now, this is only one coat of um, paint on here. So, um, the reason there's a color difference is because this was primed, this was painted. And anytime you do a patch, you should prime in two coats of paint. Um, you can see the texture. Darn near perfect. A couple of high spots I forgot. Like up here, I don't know if you can tell. Now what I'm gonna do here, these are blobs that I just, I did knock down for whatever reason. Thought there was another one right in here someplace. Yeah. Crap, now I'm looking for it. I can't find it, or, or maybe I did not knocked it down or, with a roller, I don't know. But anyway, here, here, I'm gonna knock this down with sandpaper once this dries before I hit it with a second coat. But once the second coat gets on here, it's going to come back up. Once I get that second coat on there, you won't be able to tell where it's at. That paint's still wet. That's why it looks blotchy. I just, like I said, just put the coat on there. So I'll, I'll bring, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to bring you back after I get the second coat on and after it dries and we'll see if you can tell where it's at. Probably can because, you know, but, um, because you know where the window is and you know where the patch is, but I, I, it's going to blend right in. I can tell, already tell. So anyway, stay tuned. Let's see what the final product looks like. Alrighty. Here's a couple of days later. I just went over the, that patch again with a second coat of paint. Uh, I have textured it with Home Axe. And you cannot tell. The only way I know is I put a little hole right there and this is the bottom of the, the texture where I textured. It's kind of splotchy where the paint's drying but other than that, that second coat is blending, blending it in color wise with the rest of the wall now and it is, this is why I love Homax. It, see the texture? It looks good. So that's the, uh, that's what the finished product, oops, sorry, stepping over a bunch of trim in the floor, but that's, uh, what a finished home max wall texture, uh, application looks like. It's, um, it's good stuff and you might have to experiment a little bit, but you know what? It's not that hard getting it to match. So, Go ahead, grab your can on your next wall repair. And um, hey, let me know in the comments, um, you know, how it went for you, how you liked it. Uh, maybe, um, I don't know how you, I don't, maybe go to my, um, yeah, go to my Facebook page and uh, post a picture of it. I'd love to see some of your pictures of your finished wall texture. So anyway, Donald, blue collar DIY. Uh, like and subscribe, visit the blog, and like I said, hey, uh, if you got some pictures of your repairs, uh, go ahead and post them over on my Facebook page, Blue Collar DIY Facebook page. So anyway, I'm out.